I love a good storm. You don't live in a place like Michigan for chill vibes from the sky. Just for the same reason why you don't go to the theater to watch two people sitting at a coffee table for two hours. Having exhilarating conversations like, Hey man, what's up? Nothing. Nothing? Nah, man. <sniffs> Nothing. You come here for drama. <laughs> that's, that's Michigan. Drama from above. I'm looking for a comedy tragedy when I look up at that storm. A soap opera among Kumio Nimbai. You, you slept with my sister, <gasps> who was really my brother, <laughs> who was really an alien from outer space, a planet called Glothlorp. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding, she was my sister. Prepare to die. And they whip out swords made from electricity and battle it out. <laughs> and that's lightning. Don't, don't, don't say I never taught you anything. It reminds me of the old fridge we used to have in our backyard. I would hear that grumbling thunder from the distance, that idle groan of a monster awakening. And I would race outside before the rain began, and I would shut myself away inside that refrigerator so I could be completely enveloped by rain, a fractured waterfall coming down from all sides. And it would feel like I was in some kind of floating pod in the middle of the sky, the storm whisking me away. I probably did it to remedy all the times I was caught in a storm, which is far too many times. The umbrella is one of the most ingenious inventions of all time, and no one ever has one. I should always just wear a hat that converts into an umbrella. If you want to stay dry, you gotta look fly. No, that'd be, that'd be kind of weird, but that hasn't stopped me before. Mm -hmm. But one time comes to mind when I was epically trapped. In torrential proportions, my family and I used to go to a small town up north in Michigan. It was called Elk Rapids. It was a one-street town that had a coffee shop every block, a store that exclusively sold postcards, and a library built on a tiny island across a river that led to Traverse City Bay. We were on a vacation with my grandmama, my, gr my grandma. She had wanted to go to the beach, that grandmother of mine, and we brought her down in a wheelchair, leaving her by the shore so she could stick her feet in the water. And then we left her there which seemed like an okay idea at the time. Despite the ominous, dark, looming, Stephen King-esque clouds coming in from the distance, foreshadowing seems to almost exclusively be seen in retrospect. My father and I went for a classical bicycling, past the one street town, past trees and rocks and fields, past raccoons tossed to the side of the road with a frozen look on their face that said something like, this was a bad idea. They were searching for something on the other side of the road, and I wish this was the punchline of a joke, because now this is getting depressing. <laughs> Why did the raccoon cross the road? I don't know. I... I don't know. We had gotten just far enough out of town for it to be inconvenient, when we felt the first of the tippity-tap of something that was... What's the word? H2O-esque. Moist, fairy fingertips, tickling our cheeks. That's a description I'm never going to use again. A slight drizzle preluding a cloudburst, accompanied with the smell of negative ions, emphasis on the negative. My father turned to me, and he said two words with heavy punctuation. Grandma, run. And Olympic style, we Usain bolted it down the road, past the trees and rocks and raccoons, past the one street town where everybody knew each other, the library, the coffee shop, all 11 coffee shops. How much coffee does one town need? It's pouring, it's pouring, it's pouring. We can hardly see. My lenses smeared, the world looking like a Salvador Dali painting. And the streets were flooding. There was like this much water in the ground. <laughs> but it was pretty equally dispersed, so I think it counts as flooding. And my father jumped off his bike, prancing into the air, with the enthusiasm and grace of an energetic gazelle. And I tried to do the same, launching myself into the air, wet sand scattering. And it looked a little something more like, I'm coming. And we finally make it to the shore. And my grandmother was taking selfies. She was taking selfies of her in the storm. She had an umbrella. The wise will be wise and the rest grow wiser with each passing day, especially when they're caught in the rain for the bajillionth time. Stay dry out there, my friends.